There is major news this morning in the drug war. One of the top leaders of the ruthless Las Zetas drug cartel is under arrest. He is Miguel Angel Trevino Morales. Mexican Marines captured him yesterday just across the border from the United States. Our senior correspondent, John Miller, is a former FBI assistant director. Good morning. Good morning, Charlie. So how significant is this guy and his organization? Well, first you have to understand Los Zetas. Uh, you know, Mexico has been carved up by different violent drug cartels, but Los Zetas is former Mexican Special Forces commandos who were hired by the Gulf Cartel to be their enforcers, and brutal enforcers they were until they looked up one day and said, why are we doing the dirty work and not getting the big money? So they formed their own cartel. Their trademark was to go into town figure out who was cooperating with law enforcement, who was working for a rival gang, behead everybody, and ride out of town, leaving that as an example. Very feared gang. And how did they get him? So Trevino is the leader of Los Zetos. He is one of the, he's the first leader who has not been a, a former member of Special Forces, but the people working for him are. He was riding down a dirt road. A helicopter gunship with Marines in wow. it um, stopped his pickup truck. An arrest team moved in from behind. They had been laying in wait on the possibility he might travel this road. And they arrest him. They arrest his bodyguard. They arrest his accountant. Why are you riding with your accountant? They capture eight guns because there's also $2 million in the truck. That's how he rolls. What do you think the impact is on the United States? Well, Los Zetas, on a weekly basis, sends hundreds of pounds of cocaine and marijuana across the U.S. border with a massive network. FBI intelligence bulletins that I've seen talk about Los Zetas trying to recruit among the Mexican mafia gang in the Texas prison and expand its, its reach into the United States. So it's going to be significant. On the other hand, one thing about this group, because they come from a military background, when a leader is disposed of, as, it, as happened in 2008, they don't have the traditional battle for succession inside. The military hierarchy dictates that the next most qualified person with seniority moves up. So we may see his brother emerge as a leader. Because he succeeded somebody not long ago himself. That's right. The, the last boss was killed in a big shootout in 2008. But if you think about that, from 2008 to 2013, that has, this is a very significant move to take out the leader again. I mean, they've had that long to, uh, to be in power for Trevino. John, John. thank you. Met Thanks. another person last night who said one of their favorite parts of the show is John Miller. Don't you hear it all oh, the time? Oh, I know. God. It's just... <laughs> thank you. I don't know I, what to say. Well, it's the clothes. <laughs> it's the clothes. But that's just because Nora and I match. That's and right. And you were just not on the mail list there. <laughs>